Hello YouTube, so I went to the Reptile Expo this weekend, it was a lot of fun, I went with Jimmy, he's got some additional footage, if you check out his channel, it'll be down below. Anyways, I went looking for a friend for this gal here, however, I didn't really find anything that really stood out to me. I was looking for something, I didn't want to come home empty handed, and I found a great deal on a pre-made terrarium and brought it home, so let's check it out. All right, so here's the bad boy here. This is an Exoterra 12 by 12 by 18 terrarium. Has the moss background with some cork bark on there. Really nice bromelade and some other plants that I don't know the names of yet, some moss. What I'm gonna have to do is probably build a little water feature where this moss is. And back here in the back, like right here is probably where I'll move the moss. There's a little bit there now. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be getting some dart frogs. I'm not sure what type yet. Uh, I'm not even sure what would go well. Can I do one? Can I do a pair? But we'll do the research and figure out what we can get. Now I also got this that came with it, which is the cleanup crew, which is kind of crazy. None of this stuff was around when I was in reptiles 20 some years ago. So this is gonna be completely, as they say, bioactive, and supposedly I'll never have to clean it. But uh, I'm sure I'll have to wipe down the glass and stuff, obviously, but there's little like roly poly, little bugs in here and uh, they'll just apparently burrow down in the substrate never see them again but I guess they eat poop or will keep the poop clean they'll give it a nice little buff and polish I don't know how exactly they do it but that's what they tell me so that's what I'm sticking with I really like this plant up here yeah there's one down here in the corner too but it's kind of cool that this dude's just hanging out up here and then I got my own plant I got this plant because it reminded me of pearl weed this guy right here and maybe I'll plant that back there instead of the moss back there I'm not sure but here is the plant red stem pilia this should be pretty neat I'm looking forward to seeing how that's gonna grow in here I'm gonna have to build a new top for it as well if we do dart frogs we don't want to lose any of the humidity through the screen just for the video I have a Phoenix LED on here just so we can get some light on here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for lighting it'll definitely be LED though just for the obvious reasons the same reasons we do LEDs on our fish tanks now but I am super stoked about this. Uh, let's get this out and see what it looks like here. Actually, can you see any of the bugs in here? Um, I saw one earlier before, but I'm not really seeing any now. All right, hopefully you guys can see this okay. I can't see the viewfinder, but I think I got it pointed in the right direction. We're just gonna pull this out. I guess I should make a little place to plant it first. We're just gonna put it right here with this moss kind of hopefully oh yeah nice spot right there perfect and we're just gonna put that right there just like so and hopefully the idea is uh, this will kind of come down along the wood it'll come up a little bit but it shouldn't come up that much at least I don't think uh, from the little I've read about this plant the uh, moth doesn't look too good, but hopefully that'll correct itself as it regrows. There we go. Now, I'm supposed to just dump these right in right away. Of course, problem being, I better use this bag. I don't want to dump bugs all over my room. Although, you know, maybe they would get into a fish tank. Um... Of course, I don't know how many bugs are supposed to be in here. Hmm. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can see him crawling around the bottom there. We're actually gonna take all that stuff out. And we'll probably just dump all of this down in there. Yeah, there he is crawling. Maybe you can see him now. You can see him down there. All right, we got a nice little hole in the back here. We're just gonna dump it all down here. Make sure there's no more bugs in there. Kind of flatten this out a little bit. Oh, look at that. There's worms in there too, who knew? I did not know about the worms. Neat. Well, now we got some good soil for another plant. Might have to head over to some websites and order a few more plants. I'm not sure who yet. Uh, who am I kidding? Probably get it from Josh's frogs. Give it a nice little misting. And I'm supposed to keep this cucumber in there. So we'll just put that in the back corner for them to chow down on when they feel like it. 
get this nice and soaking wet. Make sure I get that plant up there. There we go. Now there is some, uh, we have some dirt back here as well. I'm gonna have to see what I can attach to that. Chances are I'm gonna be spending quite a bit of time on Josh's frogs looking around. Maybe there's people uh, in the YouTube world that actually have some trimmings or something they might wanna send me. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky anyways. All right, that's probably good enough. All right, there you go, my pre-built terrarium. Super lucky find and score, pretty happy about it. Now I'm super happy, super stoked. This plant back here was $5, just so you guys know. Uh, if you want these pre-built setups, they always sell these at Reptile Expos and they're usually pretty darn cheap because nobody wants to pay to ship them home. So there was another one that was for sale that sold like right before we got there, but it was the skyscraper model, which is like 36 inches tall, which is awesome. But uh, so I just missed out on that one, but I got the little guy here, so I'm pretty happy about it. Well, I'm glad I decided to dump this in the bag because there are a lot more of these little roly-poly bugs down here. Neat, there they go scurrying along. So this will just make it a lot easier to find all these bugs in this bag versus trying to shake them out of that little container. So I'm gonna work on that, but that's pretty much it. All right, folks, there you go. I know this wasn't a fish video, but to those of you that stuck it out, thanks for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, just a quick update on the channel. We do have some new cameras coming, well, a new camera coming uh, to replace the one that I broke. So hopefully these videos will start getting a little bit better quality again. That would be nice, right? But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can find out what exactly I'm gonna put in here, if you're not already subscribed anyways. And I will see everyone next time.